It's no secret that the Anker Solux F3800 beats a gas generator in almost every way when it comes to providing backup power to your home during a blackout. In this video, I'm going to show you how when you combine the F3800 with the home power panel, those backup capabilities are further enhanced to give you instant changeover so that your life can remain uninterrupted even when the grid goes down. In the event of a blackout, a typical gas generator needs to be started and then have the loads transferred over, a process that could take several seconds to several minutes and might mean you have to get out of bed to take care of it. When you use the home power panel, however, that is accomplished automatically. As soon as the grid outage is detected, all the loads are instantaneously transferred over to your F3800 so that your life remains uninterrupted. That's a significant advantage, especially if you're in the middle of using a computer or even doing laundry. If that sounds like something that you would like to have, let's go ahead and talk about the details you need to figure out so that you can size your system appropriately to give you the performance and power you need. In order to design your system, it's important to understand a few basic electrical concepts that you can make sure you have as much power and energy storage as you need. The first concept to understand is what is a watt? And then we'll talk about what a kilowatt hour is. A watt is of course a unit of energy consumption and many devices in your home have it printed right on the back of them telling you how many watts it uses. The Anker Solux F3800 is capable of supplying up to 6,000 watts of continuous output and up to 9,000 watts surge output for brief periods of time. You can of course double that to get 12,000 watts of continuous output and up to 18,000 watts of surge output should you need it. It's important to understand that when you are figuring out how many of these you'll need, you want to take a look at the maximum instantaneous wattage that your house consumes. You do this by adding up the total wattage of all the appliances that you would like to keep on during a power outage. This could be a combination of the watts that your furnace pulls, your fridge, maybe any Wi-Fi routers or modems, and any other appliances you want to keep connected. If you live in a larger home or you have a central air conditioning system that you would like to keep running, you also want to make sure that you know that information because those are large devices that may mean you need to upgrade and use two F3800s to meet that load. The next unit we should understand is what is a kilowatt hour. A kilowatt hour is a way of measuring the total amount of energy. What we do is we take the number of watts being consumed and multiply it by the number of hours that that will be consumed for. So if, for example, we have a 1000 watt consuming device, maybe a toaster oven on medium, and want to be able to run that for four hours, we know that that would be 4000 watt hours or four kilowatt hours, where a kilowatt hour is equal to 1000 watt hours. So if we take the total running wattage of all the appliances we would like to have on during a blackout and multiply it by the number of hours we would like to be prepared to be out of power for, we can understand how many kilowatt hours of battery energy we want to have in reserve. Now, if you only use one F3800, you have the ability to have up to 26.9 kilowatt hours of additional expansion batteries installed on this unit. If you have two F3800s installed, that doubles to 53.8 kilowatt hours of energy. That's a significant amount of energy that could last a small home nearly a week or two. It's important to understand that if your home has a grid tied PV system and the power does go out, you won't be able to use those panels to recharge your F3800 because the grid is down. However, it does still have the ability to recharge using its two built in solar inputs for up to 2400 watts of solar recharging even when the grid goes down. Now, let's talk about what happens when the grid goes down and the Anker Solux F3800 and home power panel take up the loads of your home. The home power panel is constantly monitoring to make sure that the grid is connected. In fact, we can see it here by this light being illuminated. In the event of a grid failure or blackout, it will detect that and switch over all of the loads connected to either the backup load center or whatever sub panel you're using to power the loads in your home almost instantaneously. In fact, virtually all devices connected to that load center will stay powered on without interruption. Once those loads are transferred over to the connected F3800s, it will then power all of the loads in your home until the batteries on those units are depleted or the grid power is restored, at which point it will automatically reconnect to the grid and then start recharging the built-in batteries in your system to be ready for the next outage. In order to show you how the Anker Solux F3800 and home power panel can outperform a typical gas generator in the event of a blackout, we're gonna simulate one right now. And to make things more exciting, 
we're gonna pretend that I'm getting ready to go out for the night, but I've got a load of laundry that I need to have finished if I'm gonna to stick to my plans. We'll go ahead and turn on this electric dryer. And with that running, I'm gonna go outside and turn off the main breaker powering my home. We're gonna show you exactly what happens when the Anchor Solux home power panel and F3800 take up the loads when the grid goes down. Now this is my home's main breaker panel and this is the breaker that brings the grid power in. We're gonna turn that off. Now let's go inside and see if my clothes are gonna be dry. And look at that. My clothes are still dry and I'm not gonna miss my day tonight and there wasn't hardly any more than a flicker in the lights. And the best part is I didn't have to do anything and when the power comes back on, it'll self reset and begin recharging its batteries immediately to be ready for the next blackout, which could be any time. Well, I think it's clear that if you're looking for a way to make sure your home stays powered when the grid goes down, the Anchor Solux Home Power Panel and F3800 give you worry-free, hands-off performance that exceeds any gas generator out there. When you add in the fact that it has different operating modes that could even save you money when there isn't a blackout, it's a no-brainer that this is the choice for your ultimate home power backup solution. If you like this video and want to stay up to date with the latest products and information from Anchor, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that we can keep you living in power.